Every field in ZenKit is a custom field so that you can track the data that matters to you and your team for any type of work that you do. There are 12 custom fields currently available in ZenKit, and you can add as many as you need to track your project. Using many different fields not only makes it easier to organize your data explicitly, but also makes working with that data infinitely simpler. Using the correct field for your data means that you can sort, filter, and use special functions such as references, formulas, bulk actions, and Kanban groupings more effectively. To add a field to a collection, first open an item. Go to Actions, Add Custom Field, and choose one from the list. Alternatively, you can click Add Custom Field at the bottom of an item. Whenever you add a new field, you'll be able to edit the field properties in the pop-up. You can give a name and a description to each field. The optional description can be really helpful for other members of the collection to understand how each field should be used. After the name and description, each field has different properties, so let's take a look through them. A text field is one of the most basic. You can choose whether the text is displayed in a single line or as multi-line text, like you would for a product description or a customer address. You can also choose to add default text to be added to each new item in the collection. Number fields are fairly basic. Here you can choose a default value and whether the number is a decimal, integer, or currency. If you choose currency, you can select which from the drop down menu. The only available option for link fields is to enter a default link. Using a link field helps you keep your data more organized, and link fields can recognize and display different URL formats to text fields. Dates can be displayed as a duration instead of a date, and you can choose whether or not to assign a time as well. More features such as timers, durations, start, and end dates will be released soon. Checkbox fields are great for displaying binary variables, a simple visual representation of yes or no, for example. The options here allow you to have the box checked by default or not, Labels are one of the most important fields in ZenKit. They allow you to categorize your data in as many ways as you need to. You can prioritize items, track progress, divide work by teams across the world, or divide your book ideas into chapters. You can add as many labels as you need to a single label field and choose colors to help differentiate them. You can also choose whether members can select multiple labels, like you could for assigning browsers in which a bug appears, or only one, like when showing progress or priority. You can also choose whether members can create new labels on the fly and set default labels for new items. To do, for example. Formulas are powerful fields that work with number fields inside the collection. When you create a formula field, ZenKit will suggest number fields that exist inside the collection, as well as functions and operations that you can use to work with. Member fields are similar to label fields in that they're a way to categorize items and can be used as a Kanban grouping. You can set up a member field to assign tasks or one that just adds members that need to stay informed about a task you can choose whether a user can add multiple members or not. The file field is pretty straightforward. Add a file field to attach images, documents, videos, whatever you need to finish your project. A file field will automatically be created if you drag and drop a file onto an item. References are one of the most powerful fields in ZenKit. They allow you to connect items from different collections or even from within the same collection. This not only helps you find related items within a couple of clicks, but also represents a completely new way for you to work with and find synergies between different datasets. To add a reference, just choose a collection from the drop-down list. ZenKit will give you the option to allow users to create new items, that is, new items inside the reference collection itself, 
and select from existing items inside that collection. An aggregation field is technically a formula field. However, it uses numbers inside reference collections instead of inside the original collection. You can choose to show the total, average, or number of values inside a reference number field of your choice. Here, we can calculate the total cost of materials for each task. To use the aggregation field, first add a reference. And this will update all on its own. Last but not least, we come to checklists. Checklists are slightly different to other custom fields in that when you add one, it's only added to one item and not every item in the collection. Once you've added a checklist, just type out the list items and hit enter to start the next one. So those are all the custom fields currently available in ZenKit, and you'll be able to choose the right fields now with confidence. There are a few typical mistakes you'll also be able to avoid. For example, you may want to use label fields for dates so that you can organize your items under calendar weeks in Kanban view. For this reason, we built the calendar view and the week view within that, and using dates instead of labels makes filtering much more effective. You should also avoid using text fields for numbers, labels, members, or dates for the very same reasons. Filtering becomes much more difficult, you won't be able to use formulas properly, and bulk actions are almost impossible to create. For a more in-depth look at some of the more complex fields, check out our how-to playlist.